Hello friends and welcome back to my shop. This week's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, I had a bunch of work to do on my laser so I just kept moving my webcam around and shot a massive time lapse of all the work and we'll just voice it over and I'll show you what it came up with. So here's the K40 box and that's about all that remains of this unit. <laughs> I completely gutted the inside and replaced the motion system with a V-rail V-slot system. Uh, it's got a two foot by one foot cutting area now, but that means I have to move all the electronics to the outside of the case. I was going to buy a little project enclosure or build a little metal box for it, and I found these two little shadow boxes in my garage uh, that I wasn't using for anything, so I decided to put the electronics in there uh, just to get this thing up and running, and then, and then I can figure out if I want to put something fancier, but honestly they, they look pretty nice, and uh, I was happy with the way I got everything mounted. The front box is going to be for the controller board, which is right there that I'm working on. When I started taking this unit apart, I realized every single crimp connection on it was just uber, uber poor quality. Uh, so I threw away the old wiring harness and just replaced everything with new. Uh, proper crimp connections, proper solder connections, just make my life easier down the road. You can see on the back of the case as well, there's a little black cylinder sticking out, and that's a flow sensor. So I put a flow sensor and a temperature sensor on the uh, one of the cooling lines going to the tube there, and a little Arduino microcontroller is monitoring both those. So it's making sure that the amount of water flowing to the tube and the temperature of the water flowing to the tube are right in spec. Uh, and if it goes out of spec, it'll sound a little buzzer. And that just gives me ample time to make sure that uh, I can shut the system down without the tube going kaput. Because they uh, they don't like to get too hot and they generate quite a bit of heat. So you got to keep them cool. And I didn't want to have to always be checking the reservoir temperature to make sure I'm right in spec. So let's let a, let's let a microcontroller do it because it's way better at it than I am. And it won't forget. The only thing I ran out of time with is building a nice little case for the microcontroller. It's going to sit in that little crook between the two boxes, uh, but that'll, that'll be later. Um, and the code is 90% there. I just haven't quite finished the temperature monitoring, but I got the flow monitoring working happily now. So uh, I was very, very happy with that. It's a, it's a busy few days working on this unit here in the midst of other things. But hence the time lapse. It, it lets me work nice and fast and not have to worry about doing so much filming and voiceovers except right now when I do it for you guys. The only annoyance of using those thicker boxes was drilling through everything, the, the half inch thick uh, made for uh, more annoying ways to mount those panel switches and the little uh, milliamp meter and uh, especially the potentiometer I'm gonna have to make a new knob for it because it doesn't quite get high enough to actually use the stock knob but minor very easy to fix when you have uh, you know lathes, milling machines, printers it's it's amazing what you can do. I just want to get this up and running so I can add a laser to my repertoire because uh, right now uh, it would be great to have this unit. It would, it would very much speed up certain processes I'm doing by hand so that's that's why I'm kind of putting the fire on to get this finished. I didn't quite have time to run this unit up properly. I did a few test firings. Um, I was surprised that all my wiring worked perfectly. As soon as I booted it up, uh, it started moving around perfectly, so uh, that, that's kind of rare. Sometimes there's a little finagle here and there, but I, I was pretty happy that uh, everything worked perfectly. I did take pictures of everything as I was taking it apart, and then use those pictures when I put it back together, so that's that's probably the, the reason it worked out. Not not because I'm, you know, smart or anything, just, just because I can follow simple pictures. But that's how it worked. I'm very happy with it, and hopefully next week we'll be able to start burning things. Or cutting, cutting things. So that's it. That's where I ended up. I would have liked to have everything finished. Um, unfortunately, I'm just I'm running out of time. I already pushed this video to Sunday because I wanted to try to have the laser functioning, uh, but I still have to implement the last little bits of code. I have to go through a full alignment of the mirrors. I have to run Meerkat uh, software, which I think is what I'm going to run with that stock board. Uh, and then I have to get the uh, bed positioned and a uh, bunch of focusing done. So I got a lot more work left. Uh, that's probably going to carry over to next week's video. So we'll leave it here. Uh, thanks as always for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time. Take care. Bye.